This is Module 7, Lab 6B, the Medusa Password Cracking Module. We're going to try to basically brute force the VNC service that we identified on our target over here. Make sure that our attack system is sitting in a host-only configuration. If it's not, change it, restart the networking service, and verify that you are in a host-only or reboot the system. Real quick, I can come over here, ping Google's DNS, can't get there, I'm good to go, I'm in the right spot. We also want to use our easy peasy as our target for this one. All right, once we have both systems up and ready to go, if you recall, when we ran our nmap scan against this guy, we found a VNC service that was there and available. If you need to just confirm, you can run the scan against the address again, spacebar if you want to know the progress, and it's not a bad idea as you're doing this, just to confirm that the addresses are who you think they are. Let's do a file, open tab, ifconfig, this guy's 131 still, great. I'm assuming he's 130, we're going to find out. I can also confirm that there is a 130 right there while we're waiting. So as you can see, DHCP will try to restore the original address that was leased out to the device, but it doesn't always happen. It looks like in this case it did, but this is a version scan, so this is going to take a, a few minutes here. It says three seconds remaining, but it's going to end up running through one more portion of this scan. It's going to take a little time. I'm going to pause and come right back. You see the nmap scan is finished and here is what we are referencing. VNC port 5900, there's an open TCP port. It's protocol 3.3. We got a long command to type out here as we attempt this Medusa brute force on it. Medusa is a pretty cool tool. If you want to know full functionality of the application, man, Space Medusa brings you here into this manual. Spacebar to move through it. Spacebar to move through it. And Q to quit. But let's get our command in. It's going to be Medusa space dash H. That's host. Who is the host that we are attempting to actually connect to? Dash capital U. It wants to know the it wants to know the list for the usernames and what we're typing in now is the actual directory for where they are located at on our Kali system. Dash capital P will reference the password list and I don't want to type all this out and have an error there should be a space there it's capital P for the switch and then you're specifying the actual location and file name And here we're going to specify the actual service that we are attempting to exploit or the module that we're going to use as, for the exploit. We're going to use a VNC module. Long list, don't hit enter anywhere in there until you type that entire thing out. Hit enter. Medusa is going to try to run through. You can see a number of 1003, so there's 1003 username passwords that it's going to try to create as combinations. You will also see ones that flash like this one here and this one here and this one here that say success so we're finding some successful attempts to gain access using certain usernames and certain passwords let it run for a few minutes here and we're gonna do a control C when we're ready to stop it or you can let it run through the entire list if you want if you want to continue to scan so it tells you right down here at the bottom, enter the original command 
and follow it with the dash capital Z switch enter that text afterward and it's going to even with the period two and it's actually going to continue the scan right where it left off well pretty cool it looks like that we have some success in here username I love you password password username one 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 password of password username Ashley password of password it looks like there's a lot of passwords set as password all of them tend to succeed once we see this password set scroll back down let's get to a command prompt here let's go ahead and start X type VNC viewer this is basically a small lightweight VNC viewer that's going to try to gain access to our target over here on a default VNC port so we specify X type VNC viewer 192.168.40.130 we're going to hit enter wants to know a password we're going to type in password now we just gained access to our target system over here through type VNC this here would be a command prompt where we can run through and check who am I you want to use uname a it really works if you spell it right check the password files basically you have root access you can do whatever you want at this point in time now what we ended up doing here was using our standard root account with the password of password that we typed in and that actually created a successful connection I just walked you through that way to make it a little bit easier so you don't have to go through and test tons and tons of accounts before you find the few that are actually configured in there to work now what you end up doing is providing me a screen capture of your type VNC window here with your date and time and you are good to go for this lab. I'm going to exit out of here, shut this one down, and come over here and power off this target system. And I'm all done. Good job.